Right, so whenever you hear the sound of the bell, you should know that something definitely is coming your way, something trendy, something spicy, something hot. And what is it about that we'll be looking at today? Um, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that whenever we drop new content, you'll be the first to get notified. My name is Paul Lingua and this is Onia Digital Media. Yes, so there's this trend that actually um, hits Africa or is making waves in the international media and that has to do with okay 153 people okay dying in an attempt to scoop uh, fuel from uh, a fuel tanker which had an accident yes yeah, so quick one let me take you deep into the story so that you get yourself acquainted with it now fast forward um a fuel tanker exploded in northern nigeria killing at least 153 people who rushed to the scene of the accident to collect leaking petrol. Officials has confirmed the crash happened in a town of Magia, of Chigawa State, that is in Nigeria. The fire engulfed the over 10 vehicle, which had been condoned off by officers after it crashed, according to the police. Reports stress that officers had warned people not to approach the tanker after the accident, but they were unable to contain the growing crowd, said police spokesman Lawa Shisu Adam. Adam is quoted to have also said that they tried their best to stop people going to the vehicle to get petrol, but despite condoning the area, they were overpowered, and as people were scooping fuel, Fire erupted, he told the media. Um, quick one, um, before we actually delve much into this, um, one thing that we have actually noticed is that um, the issue of these fuel tankers, okay, having problems of uh, having accident in Nigeria is becoming too much. And it seems to be common. And if you look at, let me say, the statistics, okay, around the world, you will realize that Nigeria actually recorded the highest incident okay when it comes to fuel tankers um have an accident on that on their roads and don't forget that in 20 uh 2000 rather okay there was a similar incident which happened in Ebadan in nigeria okay killing at least 100 and 200 between 100 and 200 people and then in 2010 explosion claimed okay the lives of about 20 people and leaving several others severely injured and then away from that and that was in um alakija and then also in okobia this same nigeria in 2012 um same incident happened and killed at least 121 persons and kirikiri in nigeria 2014 okay similar incident happened and about 15 people uh, were killed okay leaving several others severely injured so this is the statistics we actually um had on uh, fuel tankers um have an accident okay in nigeria and you won't see this record anywhere in the country now let's look at what actually is causing this and the possible reasons Okay, the shocking thing is that um, it's as if Africa, okay, due to its poverty nature, okay, um, a lot of things like this happen and people actually don't care about their lives. And because they think about their survivor, they go all out, okay, to risk their life in order to get something at least that could you know put something on their table if they sell it out yes yeah, so these are some of the things that is causing it perhaps such accidents that have been recorded in nigeria okay at the scene has not actually uh, gotten these people in the car and the cars involved okay die up to this number but when it happens like this and people rush to the scene Okay, on knowing or even knowing that anything could happen, which could escalate or which could make the fire flame up and then consume all of them, they rush to the scene. Well, this is actually something that is happening in Nigeria and then also some part of Africa and it's common in the northern part of Nigeria. Now, 
why is this trend okay uh, happening the northern part of you know Africa the northern part of Nigeria yes it's also believed that okay the northern part of every country seems to you know have people who live there to be poor and this by so uh, what do you call it doing when they see free things like this they don't joke with it when they see fuel tanker over 10 okay the rush they send to do what to scoop fuel out of uh, what do you call it the car risking their lives and this is something that is not actually good at all now i would like us to look at some of the reasons yes yeah, so one of it is poverty if not because of poverty in other parts of the world advanced countries when there is accident like this the whole place is barricaded and the police or the fire service okay uh, surround that place stopping people even gaining access and even in the advanced country or developed countries you see people even running for their lives lives if incidents like this happen but why is this happening in africa is it because our leaders have failed us is that why when something like this happened people rush to the place in order to exchange their lives for full will i don't get it this is sickening and this is on characteristics of with africans okay this cannot feed us the whole day but you risk your life to go and scoop the fuel and you ended up dying as a result of that so the poverty nature okay that have ravaged africa is the number one cause of this mad rush for free things and is that it's, it's it's the fault of our leaders they fail to actually make this place comfortable for the youth and the citizens okay to live in rather all they think is their pocket and their family and their friends come to think of it we've had stories um from nigeria where their former president you know uh stock money in their banks and other offshore banks account and other things why are we so greedy as africans because of poverty that is why we had about 153 people okay who lost their lives just like that like uh what do you call it an animal it is sickening and i blame no other person than the politicians i blame no other person than the leaders okay and this is predominant in africa africa african leaders why all this why subjecting your people to poverty and early death it's sickening having this happening in africa and sometimes you even look at it and you don't get it now let's look at the security aspect of it one thing i asked when i saw this video okay in the news or this report in the news is that where was the fire service people and then the police as well is it that they go to the scene late is it that they had reported over there and because of the crowd were too much they could not control them it is our nature okay that's the nature of the police and then the fire service to always respond to things late in africa and why is this happening in africa when something that could take lives of many people is reported they get their late the people around or the community in which that didn't happen okay get there before them but in advanced countries go and see what is happening there even a fire a droplet of fire okay around where there's petrol they use sophisticated machines to come and do what check those areas and pick that little or tiny droplet of fire over there we've taken certain things for granted in africa and today our brothers and sisters have lost their lives just because of survivor and it's all boils down to uh, our leaders not able to help the youth and the country grow no jobs for the youth so anything free they avail themselves forgetting about their lives and this is what is happening in africa why are we so timid why are we so greedy leaders we have in this country 
are all greedy. I mean, in African continent, you don't see anyone doing better than the other. The leaders have failed us woefully, and we must think up. We must find a way to grow ourselves so that we will not avail ourselves or subject ourselves to what could be staring at us as death. Well, this is where we draw the curtains for today's program. My name is Paul Lingua, and in case you're new to this, kindly subscribe and then turn on the notification bell so that whenever we drop new content, um, you'll be the first to get notified. I'm out from here. Bye for now.